Hi, welcome to Anatomy with Ashley. I'm going to do a quick model review of the humerus. So let's get started. Um, first, I'd like to start off with um, a reference point, knowing which humerus you're looking at, a left or a right. Now, my favorite one is to do the olecranon fossa here. I know that's always posterior because the ulna hinges and that would form, that's what forms your elbow. Okay, so also another reference point is to know that the head of the humerus is always going to point um, medial into the body. Okay. So this will be a posterior view and the head is medial, so this will make this bone a right humerus. Okay, so now I know it's a right. Um, another key thing here is knowing this is medial, this is also going to be medial, and that is your medial epicondyle. And then opposite of medial is lateral, so that will be your lateral epicondyle. Okay. So now we're going to flip this over to see the anterior view. So you still see the head of the humerus. Um, this is going to be your greater tubercle. It's a little superior than this one, and this is your lesser tubercle. Um, this is the anatomical neck. So if you look at the head here, all the way around, if I was to kind of cup it like this, this would form the anatomical neck all the way around. Okay, um, this is the surgical neck here, and then we follow this down. This is still the anterior view. So you here we have the coronoid fossa, this little dip here, and then you have a radial fossa here. This is the trochlea, this little um, rectangular shape. And then this rounder shape here is the capitulum. And again, uh, medial epicondyle, because it's medial. And then lateral epicondyle here. 